Okay, guys, so welcome back to another weekly football news. Uh, so it's the last few days of the January transfer window. Not much more business has really gone on. Uh, but, you know, there's been plenty of changes, such as Lampard, Tuchel. Uh, and there's lots to talk about the summer transfer window, too. And, yeah, I'll talk about all the gossip and everything in a minute. So, Lampard's luck. Well, you know, Frank Lampard just got brutally sacked by Chelsea and many icons such as Andy Cole, uh, Lineker, are saying that it was wrong and it was very, very, very harsh. Well, this is just one of 13 managers Abramovich has sacked during his reign. And he's been, you know, president or in charge of Chelsea for about 18 years now. 13 managers in 18 years is ridiculous, a massive amount. Of course, if you might have known, uh, Chelsea went ages without winning the Premier League. Uh, the only win they did get was from before Christmas, so that was ages ago. And the only wins we really, the only wins were against Morecambe and Luton Town in the FA Cup, so that was terrible. Uh, he also went on a barren run since losing 3-1 to Arsenal, which we went winless for ages and ages and ages. And when our season went downhill, Arsenal's rose up. Lampard also has the worst win percentage of any Chelsea manager in the last 18 years at 53, about 53.4%. About that. Which is lower than the likes of Andre Villaboas and Good Inc. Well, is Chelsea's philosophy good about sacking managers? Well... I mean, it's an opinion, really, but I think it, it, it does show a lack of loyalty, uh, the, la the, the constant sacking. But when you think about it, it does work because higher and fire is working because we've earned loads of trophies in the last two decades. We've earned our Champions League, made it to a final, won more FA Cups than Arsene Wenger did in that time, uh, a couple of Premier Leagues. And yeah, so it does work. I mean, we're winning trophies. And the board say, win a trophy or be sacked, you know. If you don't win a trophy, boom, you're out. Which puts the pressure on the managers, which um, makes them do more work. And then it keeps the fans happy too. Tuchel time, guys. Because Tuchel uh, got fired by PSG on Christmas Eve. Uh, yeah, pretty sad for him. He did a good job at PSG. Got them to a Champions League final and, you know, coached the likes of Neymar and Mbappe and he didn't do that bad. But he was trailing in the French League, which is not that good. So Tuchel set loads of records uh, in his first match against Wolves, even though he only had a couple of hours to prepare. 820 passes were made altogether in the match, which is the highest amount of passes in a match for ages. And we recorded 78.9% possession. It's both the highest totals by a team in their manager's debut in charge since data started being recorded in 2003. Jurgen Klopp, funnily enough, started his Liverpool career with a 0-0 result. So possibly Tuchel could be coming down the, right, down the same path because Tuchel... Coached at Mainz, like Klopp did. Coached at Dortmund, like Klopp did. And then he's finally made it to England. The one difference is that Klopp didn't go to PSG. Well, what do I think will happen? Well, I think Everton will beat Newcastle. Newcastle have done terrible, terrible, terrible so far. And Everton are really a good team, in my opinion. Entertaining as well. I think Crystal Palace will draw 1-1 against Wolves. Both teams are struggling a little bit as of late. I mean, Wolves might go on and nick a win, but so far Crystal Palace should draw. Man City should romp Sheffield United. I know Sheffield United beat Man United recently, 2-1. But they just won't withstand the power of Manchester City. With Gundogan, I think, will score seven goals in his last ten uh, appearances for City. That's a great run for a midfielder. West Brom will narrowly lose to Fulham, or Fulham have put in very, very, very bold displays against the likes of Chelsea and Man United. Uh, so I think they'll be able to do it against a struggling West Brom. 
Arsenal will lose 2-1 against Manchester United. Arsenal's resurgence is very well known. They've soared in the last month. And Man United might be going through a mini confidence blip because of a loss to Sheffield United. But that won't stop Man United because uh, they're like league leaders. So, well, they were league leaders previously. But, you know, I don't think they'll have an, Arsenal will have enough. Southampton will lose 3-2 to Villa. Well, Villa and Southampton, they're both very entertaining sides. Very dark horses for Champions League. But Villa just have that edge in Grealish and Barkley and Trezeguet. Whereas Southampton, Havings, yeah, very exciting player, but they just don't have the same amount of energy Villa does. Chelsea will beat Burnley 2-0. Tuchel would have had days now to prepare. So he would have fully implemented his style on the team. And Burnley are a strong team, but, you know, there are weaknesses there to exploit. Leicester will beat Leeds 2-1. Leeds, very entertaining team. Most entertaining side in the Premier League, even statistically. But Leicester are on a roll. Uh, Leicester are brilliant, and Leeds are also brilliant, so we could be in for a thriller here, but I think Leicester will edge it. West Ham will draw 1-1 against Liverpool. Liverpool is struggling as of late. They beat Spurs 3-1, but, you know, they're still going... They've got bad defenders. They're out injured. Fabinho, Matip injured. As West Ham are up to fourth, and West Ham have actually played superb this season, in my opinion. And Moyes has done it really good. Brighton will draw 2-2 against Spurs. I mean, Spurs might be going through a minor confidence split because of a loss to Liverpool. But Brighton are a very strong team with Lamptey up on the right wing, right back. So that could be entertaining too. 